Hello everyone, welcome to Elite Expertise. I'm Dr. Sadamni Sina, currently student with Elite Expertise. Elite Expertise is an online training platform for all the overseas pharmacists who wants to practice in Australia. Today we have with us Baina. Hi Baina, how are you and congratulations on clearing your CATS exam. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Thank you so much for having me here and nice to meet you as well. <laughs> Please introduce yourself. Where are you from? What have you studied? Uh, yeah, that, that goes way long back. I am basically from Kerala, but uh, yeah, I did my studies, uh, I mean, bee farm in Kerala as well, and IMG University. And this was like I passed out in 2003. And uh, yeah, and what I like to say is first and foremost, I would like to thank Jesus for this journey because he is the one who introduced me to one of the uh, my uh, friends, like, who was already with Academy initially. And uh, she she was the one who led me to sir and ma'am. And I'm so grateful to her as well. Her name is Suramya. She passed out in July batch last year, 23. So what I like to, you know, like to say is that people generally get scared. Oh, you have 20 years of gap and all that thing. But let me tell you, if you if you are in this academy, I I, I don't think it matters at all. Because sir and ma'am, I'm awesome. and I'm sorry, I sometimes would be tears, but I'd really love to say that uh, uh, go ahead with them. They are absolutely great. Absolutely. <laughs> I feel they are far better than my <laughs> college professors, I can say. So what did you like about your light expertise? Yeah, the first and the foremost is the way they, you know, they put out the concepts. It's so, it's it, it goes in a rhythm. And it, it's so beautiful, like so ma'am will introduce a topic and, you know, and they always say that end of the course, you will have no doubts. But when some doubts come in and sir comes in and he, you know, we don't even have to ask the doubts. He just clears it off and sir will say some topic, ma'am will clear it. You can see there's a rhythm to everything and whatever courses they have done, like they've arranged it in such a beautiful way. That you know, we learn the whole thing in just you know two and a half to three months. It's it's absolutely fascinating for me. Four years, of course, they have managed to you know just you know, push it into three months and put it into our head, and you know it's so beautiful. I don't know how to express it out, but uh, it's 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 mind blowing for me <laughs> because I had a gap for twenty years and I was. All the while, you know, trying to, you know, how to get this, all these things into the mind now, because we are in a different state, not when we are studying. It's a total different scenario. And now we are into like, we are mothers, we are working or, you know, we have a lot of responsibilities around us. And so I was just worried about that. And, uh, but I must say, I'm so lucky to be here. That's all. <laughs> so how did you prepare for your CAPS exam? Yeah, it was really, really quite tough. I had to manage my home and uh, even uh, the you know the studies part and everything. So yeah, I had to compromise on my sleep a bit initially. The first two months like really put in a lot. I used to like get up two o'clock and you know because even towards the um, and when the major portions were done. Uh, you know, they, ma'am and sir used to come in, in literally every day, right? So she, in according to the timing here in Oman and, you know, in India, it was quite early. So before she came in, I had to do my work and uh, all those. So I had to put in extra hours. That's there because my gap was huge and everything. And that is one portion, like um, getting up early and, you know, to manage time and study. And the second thing, what I used to do is I used to listen literally listen to what, uh, you know, all the lectures three, four times. Because for me, um, listening just three three times was not enough. So whenever I do my work in the kitchen or whenever I'm doing something or something when I get up, when I'm traveling, I used to listen to the lectures constantly. So that helped me a lot. And uh, yeah, and getting up and also a life of discipline. That is another thing I would add to it. <laughs> so yeah. So what are so the teaching what, strategies of allied expertise that you like? That's what the major one is like. Um, first, yeah, the way they taught, like I said, it's a cascade, the lectures. The second thing is the main uh, point is 
um, ma'am and sir used to say, start doing your mocks irrespective of whether we go through the lectures or not. That's one thing which I really appreciated, you know, because initially when we do the mocks, it's like we get very less points, maybe around 30, 40 like that. And then later on, um, as in when we learn the topic, we score. But still, to get used to the rhythm of the exam, it's very important to do your mock several times. So that is important, plus the lectures. It's like gold, I feel. <laughs> Literally gold. <laughs> so which paper and was also, you Yeah, please. Uh, sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, actually... Um, Towards end as well, when mom, uh, sorry, when ma'am teaches all those uh, last portions, right, the revision portion, how to, you know, how would the questions be arranged and all those things. So that was also very helpful for me because um, it's it's knowing the topic, like it's knowing the concepts and using it. It's not that literally we get the exact same question from the mocks, but, you know, using whatever concepts ma'am and, you know, sir has downloaded in our heads use that with the uh, type of questions that come up i don't know if i'm clear here but uh, i i think that is the best way to do it know your concepts well it's a major thing yeah you was you was asking something else yeah which paper was easy for you paper one or paper two for me paper one was easier um like in terms of concepts like uh, apart from the calculations in the paper two it was fine but uh, what I did is, I, I I mean, this is a technique which I used. In the second uh, paper, I finished all the concepts, like all the normal objective questions. And then I kept some time, like 45 minutes for the um, so solving the problems itself, for calculations. So that is what, that's what, so I could do it. I completed the whole paper, thankfully. Yeah, I did my best. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So according to you, what are the top three points that you think have really helped you in clearing your CAPS exam? Top three points, I would say, yeah, um, the main thing is listening to the lectures. Very important. Doing the mocks. Irrespective of whatever time you started, please do the mocks. And also be dedicated and disciplined as ma'am ma and sir says all the time. Just listen to them. That's very important in this journey. Uh, so that is the three points I feel. <laughs> so do you have any suggestions for our future aspirants? Yes, I do have. Please listen to ma'am and sir. And don't go and uh, do any other, any other, any other places. Don't get down, download any other resources. Nothing is required. What they teach is more than enough. And also, please be dedicated. They are putting in their 100%. We should at least put in our 80%, I feel. So that's what I would like to say. Thank you so much, Bena. And congratulations on clearing your CAPS exam. All the very best. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.